Hello and thanks for joining me. I've got a nice big eco-worthy lithium battery here. Um, so this is going to be a, like an unboxing and a, a semi-review because um, of course if I was to do a full review I'd have to kind of wait for 10 years to see if it actually lasted that long. If it was any good and, and count the amount of cycles it says it does 3,000 I'd have to sort of do 3,000 to give a full sort of thorough test. Um, so this could have been more of a sort of just a quick look around and sort of see, see what it looks like and see how it works and stuff. So let's get it unboxed first and we'll take it from there. Okay, so packaging wise, um, it's come in a sort of good quality box, quite sort of thick. Um, come with this kind of polystyrene stuff to keep it protected. Um, and it arrived in one piece here, um, so that's um, good. Um, so it's got this sort of plastic sort of sellotape covering here um, to also keep it sort of protected. Uh, these little handles uh, just sort of click up and down, it's all plastic. Um, that's how they work. It comes with uh, two little instruction booklets, different technical data specifications okay um, it also comes with um, these two little bolts here um, I think they're m8 which I'll, I'll just go and check yeah that's right so um, the terminal bolt size um, so I'll show you there yeah it's an m8 size okay so kind of relevant with uh, what sort of like um, connections you get to go on that um, but yeah they just um, screw in nicely okay um, so the handles like I said they just kind of click into place sort of makes it um, easier to to lug around um, weight wise it is heavy uh, being a 100 ah means that it is a heavy battery the weight is So um, you wouldn't be sort of carrying that too too far, um, but obviously it's not going to be carried around. It's not meant to be. Um, so yeah, bear that in mind. The weight. Um, so what the actual features of this battery are? This is a 12.8 volt battery, and it's got 100 amp hours. So like I said, this is the largest one Eco where they do. Um, all their range are lithium ion ones, and their features are more than 3,000 cycles, 10 years lifespan, high energy density, um, and lightweight. Um, and and <laughs> while I'm saying it's a heavy battery um, in comparison to in comparison to what this would be um, on a typical lead battery an equivalent this is a lot lighter than that would be um, it's got this uh, built-in battery management system bms um, and just to explain what that is because that is quite important yeah it basically protects the battery from over voltage under voltage and short circuit it helps protect the battery so obviously when you sort of shared out quite a lot of money for one of these um, it's good to know there's got some protection in there to sort of help keep it safe there we go so um other than that, um, unlike some of their previous battery batteries, it does actually have the colour code in there, so the, the red and the black, so that's good to see. Um, sometimes um, they don't have the colour, but that helps make sure you realise that this is the, the plus side. Um, it has actually got a plus there, which um, is just kind of moulded in, so it's not as clear to see. So you've got the plus and then the minus there. But yeah, so having the, the, black, the red and the black here obviously helps to make sure you get the right terminals um, connected up when you're putting it together. Okay, with regards to connecting this up to a controller. It just goes in here, put it inside the screw, and then in it goes. Nice and easy. The, the minus there, which is um, indicated in black, goes on this side. Sometimes a little spark, so just uh, be mindful of that. Screw that in. Okay, um, that's nice and nice and easy. Um, and then that just connects through to a controller if you're using one of those. Um, and there we go. You can sort of see got 13 volts there being picked up with the plus and minus for the battery. 
Um, and there we go. Um, other than that, looking around it, it is a sealed battery, so they say you can sort of um, sort of have it in different directions. Um, so sort of that's a, another good selling feature. On the back here is the temperature um, um, and discharge capacity. Um, and it says uh, warning about charging, discharging. Do not charge below naught degrees Celsius. Do not discharge below minus 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, so like I said, um, I, I can't sort of give a review on the performance as such. Um, I have had it plugged in already um, and it has been um, collecting charge from a solar panel. So um, it's it's already been sort of, it's already full up um, from a, from a, a run on the solar panel so it is working and um, with regards to the actual um, company um, I have used these batteries for quite quite some time now um, and, they, and they work well and with regards to the actual company the eco worthy and um, they've got really good customer service whenever I've contacted them they've always come back to me and they're always really helpful and sort out any problems and stuff so so from a from a customer service point of view it's, it's, it's got a thumbs up from me um, obviously if this changes at any point then um, I'll always put a comment um, in my description below so always keep them um, up to date with any any changes to that and obviously if this fails or has any problems I'll, I'll, I'll include it in the video details um, but essentially yeah no it's um, a nice nice big size battery price wise these type of batteries aren't cheap at all um, so um, you know I've got a link to it in my description if you click on that you can sort of see what the latest price is okay so just a couple of tips I will say you've got to make sure you obviously connect the the, the plus the positive on on this side um, and the negative um, sounds obvious in that but you could obviously ruin your battery if you get that wrong um, and the other point is is if you are connecting this to a, a, a solar controller so you can get this charged up from solar panels um, then make sure the solar controller that you're actually using does support lithium batteries um, a lot of the cheap um, controllers on the internet you can buy um, they only support um, like acid acid batteries um, eco worthy cell cell ones which um, obviously sort of makes sense to keep the same brand um, but yeah if you do buy one um, some of the, maybe the more expensive MPPT ones just make sure that they do support lithium batteries um, and they're not just um, the, the, the lead acid ones.